Alrighty, so we are here with some critiques from some students that I am teaching. Um, this is day one. Uh, just kind of giving them a, a baseline test to see where we need to focus, where we need to um, start, um, you know, start with, you know, the baseline of the education I'm going to give them. So um, let's take a look. This is by Justin. So Justin, the first thing that um that stands out to me is a little bit skinny on the head um what i would do is put these ears together All right then i would put this body together too so um go here merge down Okay, merge down. Okay. All right, and then down to mesh it. Okay, so we have this whole piece that we're working with. Okay. Um, so let's start with the forms. Okay, so um, you know now after a course about the uh, the brow and uh, the uh, superciliary arches right here. Okay. And we're looking at the, um, the great Kali and... Um, And uh, Andre the Giant, right? So we know what really happens in this brow whenever we're going. Okay. So uh, the main problem is that uh, we don't have enough room for the zygomatic and the temple, right? So what I'm going to do is actually move this ear back a bit. Okay. And we know um, based on uh, our lessons that we can put the zygomatic right here. Oops, fingers are all over the place. Okay, right there, and right there is the temporal line. Okay, so now we know that we have some forms that we got to fix here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is grab my uh, form soft brush and just kind of adjust this to where I have this temporal, um, this temporalis right here. And I'm just going to smooth out all this detail because we don't really need it right now. Okay. And I'm going to put that right there. And we're good to go. Okay. Um, and then we can find the bottom as well. Uh, we probably don't need to dig in for this. We can probably just indicate it right there. Um, and next thing we want to do is focus on the eyes a bit. So we can see the, um, the difference in the eyelid right here. Okay. So in terms of eyelids, you need to go, the top one goes over the bottom one, right? So I'm going to get rid of, I'm just going to go in solo. Top one goes over the bottom one, right? We can put that right there. This right here. All right, top one goes over the bottom one. And we can dig in and kind of indicate uh, an eyelid. Okay, and so now he's got this, um, uh, this bag under his eye, right? So we need some room for that as well. So for that, we just need to, um, right here, Right on the outside like that. Okay, right? Boom. Right, and then dig this. Um, it's basically fat that's all in here. You just have um, pockets of fat. And we'll go over that in class. Um, but yeah, we have a bunch of pockets of fat here in the eye. And so we need some room for that. Okay. So after uh, studying the skull for a bit, we noticed that we have this uh, temporal or temple bone right here, right? And we just need to solidify that a bit more because there's some tendons on the side of your eye that actually attach inside this orbital socket, right? So there we go. Okay, so this is, these are big things that uh, that want to go over. Because um, uh, everybody was having different uh, issues, so um, I want to 
hit those as well. So right here, just a little bit more curve, right? Boom. And then you can bring this down to meet it. Okay. Um, and then right here, make sure that you have uh, your, your uh, brow right here going. Okay, coming out. You have that notch down pretty good. Pretty well, pretty well. Good job. Okay. And then uh, for this type of stuff, um, so now we can bring this shape off of the nose. We can even just fudge it a little bit and put it up there on the top, get our um, clay build up and emphasize it a little bit, right? So just a little indication. And then um, let's see. And then we can bring this around and we'll be going over fat and all that stuff in class and you'll have a better sense of uh, where to put these wrinkles and why they're there. And as soon as you know why they're there, then it just becomes very easy to start placing them. Okay. So right there. And then I would use uh, your damp standard a bit more. We'll go right there. And then if you want to have it nice and closed, uh, get your pinch brush. And just pinch it like that, right? And so now there's right there, boop, comes forward a little bit. Okay, so right in the center, it comes forward, goes back, comes back down. You see how it's on the same level? It goes up and then comes back down. It's a little subtle, but it's there. Right. These are the type of things you got to point out, like, okay, so that's here, that's there. So right where the curve is is where this needs to be, right? And then bring this forward. We're good on that. Okay. So the next thing we need to uh, do is, even though um, we could probably add, oops, bit more to this temple right here. A bit more meat to it. And like I said before um, in class, just sculpt the anatomy and all the shadows will reveal themselves. All right. So don't worry about shadow sculpting. Worry about anatomy sculpting. Okay. So uh, there's a big fat pad that just goes right over the side over here. We'll go over it in class a bit. Um, but those are the major points that I want to go over on yours. Um, just ensure, because your your eyelids, like um, um, you need to you need to hit those a bit more. I would focus on that. Where I mean, we're gonna have like two whole days of lectures of eyes. So we will get there, um, but just remember, just for you, um, takeaway point is your upper eyelid goes over your bottom eyelid. And then we'll go over the, um, uh, I think it's the canthal tendons. Yeah, the medial and lateral uh, canthal tendons and the tear duct and all that stuff and the fat pads that influence uh, the shape of the eye. Okay, so here, uh, just one more hit. One more. It's really flat under here. You just see a little bit of fat. Okay, and roughly it goes in here. Just over over exaggerating it for you. And then comes out here. So it's convex and or I'm sorry, concave and then convex. And then you just smooth out the difference. Right? I'm just over accentuating it. Okay, so you want to do that. Also, your eyes are straight across. Your eyes actually lay at a 20 degree angle, the uh, medial uh, side, this uh, inner, and then uh, the lateral side is below, right? So you should have a 20 degree angle, roughly, going from there to there. Okay, um, so let's bring everything back and also make sure that your eyelid is equal distance around, your eyelid is, uh, or these are actually called tarsal plates. So I'm going to start referring to them. The tarsal plates right here need to fit around the eye. And eyes, let's see, we move this out. 
and rotate it just out a little bit. There we go. So now it doesn't look like he's looking straight ahead, right? And it doesn't look so robotic. Okay. Um, and then this one has um, his eyes a bit to, um, it should be about three degrees, three to like five degrees is model, like five to six degrees is model and three degrees is kind of normal. And for this guy, we don't want him to look like a model, right? We don't want his, um, his eyes to be seductive. He's a slumlord, right? So if anything, they should be pretty parallel to each other. Okay. Right, and then we have a uh, little tear duct right there, which gives us that pop right here. And then we have another tear duct right here, uh, or drainage actually, um, for your tears right there. So that's what that pop is. And we'll go over that as well. All right, and there we go. So what we... Let's move what we had, or this is what we have, and um, that's what we had. Okay, so a little bit more definition around the eye, a little bit more definition around the uh, mouth. Um, all this fat and stuff, we'll, we'll go over. I would just have it a little bit more round. There's uh, other people with the same issue, so I'll, I'll address that with them. Um, but other than that, um, I know you, um, have an issue with sculpting eyes, so I just wanted to, um, hopefully focus on that and it'll, it'll help you. So this is a bit too far just because I want to give you wrong information. It's a bit too far, All right? Something like that. And then we'll have fat, all these wrinkles or, um, Coming around right here, right there, right there. Coming over and down, over and down, okay? So these tarsal plates, basically your eyelids, these are where all the wrinkles are gonna feed into, right? We'll, we'll look at that in class as well. Um, let's see, what else, what else? And that's, that's about it, I would say, on this one. And that would definitely um, get you a little bit further in terms of capturing character. Um, and yeah, so we're going to move on to the next one. Let's see, who is next? Who is next? Jorge Alejandro Gomez. Uh, let's see. Okay, there we go. All righty, so let's take a look at this. Alrighty, so um, you do know now that you don't have to focus on anything besides the bust, right? So uh, to really drive that home, I'm going to get this. Um, this is Dynamesh. I'm a Dynamesh. Okay. Uh, I'm going to get my trim brush out, trim curve brush. So really all you need to focus on is... Um, Wait, wait, wait. I'm right, gonna get the trim curve, trim curve, clip curve, clip curve. All you need to focus on is um is pretty much that. This area is all you really need to focus on. Okay. I mean, you can sculpt the rest just so you can get the packs and everything, you know, and get a little bit more comfortable, but um. But this is all I want you to focus on, right? Don't don't try to sculpt an entire character in an hour. At least, uh, I mean, you can on your own time, of course. But in class, uh, what I what I want you to focus on is right here. Okay. All right. So I do like the uh, feeling of this character. Um, I do like uh, uh, the style that you put on it. The um, but let's talk about some proportions because um, when it comes to client work, they they are paying you for your, your style, but they definitely want this to look like the, um, the concept art with your style on top of it, right? So, um, so that like type of hair that we got right now, the comb over is not what's here. If anything, it's bald all the way around. So we have to, um, I mean, like I said, you know, 
whenever a client asks you to do something, it's, I mean, you can do it if you want to or do it if you don't want to, but um, they're not going to pay you to just make whatever you want to make. Right. So, um, so we need to really, at least, at least for now, while we're in class is practice on, uh, representing the artwork as true as possible. So if he's got thinning hair, then just put some thinning hair on there. If you can't do it, then be like, Hey professor, I don't know how I would attempt to make thinning hair. Then I'll help you out. Okay. So, um, let's see. Okay, so let's get some proportions down first on this character. So, you know, from the bottom of the nasal aperture, you can put that there. Okay. And we can add a bit more temporal um, or temporalis uh, muscles and the temporal arch right here. We can emphasize that a bit more because he's got kind of like a blocky head almost. Right? Uh, and then now we know about the zygomatic, right? So it's right above the ear hole. You can put it straight across and then we can get our temple right there. And then it comes, whoops, and then it comes down. But we don't really need we just need to x-ray that in our mind. We don't need to actually sculpt that, okay? So now we need to fix this temporal um, muscle right here, and it's kind of like a fan, right? And remember, no, uh, no muscle goes over the zygomatic, right? It's just skin, fat, and bone. Nothing else. If anything, it just goes inside and comes back out here underneath the zygomatic. That's about it, okay? Um, the cheeks are a little bit too square. So what we need to do is we need to round those off, right? Because right now the widest part of this is the cheek. And we know by looking at a skull that the widest part is right around here. And then it just comes around. And, um, we will have a bunching up of, um, of skin while he's smiling or smirking, but it's not going to be that prominent. Okay, so put that in there, and let's work on these eyes a bit, okay? So one thing to take away is that, um, so what I'm gonna do is, oh, no, I'm just gonna use this mesh. Um, eyelid, I'm using my damp standard. It goes over the bottom eyelid, right? We can dig in right here, get this uh, upper eyelid. Um, and then we can indicate a bottom eyelid or bottom tarsal plate, inferior tarsal plate, right? Um, and then we can add a little tear duct right there, have that come around. And now what we need to do is we can see, you know, uh, the eyeball's not going to conform that way. All right, so we can put this back on. And what we need to do is put the eyelids equal distance around, or these tarsal plates right here, these eyelids, uh, we need to put them around the eye, equal distance, okay. and then right there. Okay, and again, we don't want the, um, the angle of uh, the eye to be too model-esque, okay? Or, to, you know, it doesn't look like a model or, you know, like a eyelash commercial or something like that, right? So, um, so we got to bring that forward. So while we're looking at the side of the eye, it should have kind of like a, like an overall, something like this. Yours was going way back, right? So we need to fix that. Okay. So... Right here, what we need to do is we need to um, we probably try to lift this up a bit. 
that down, this up. We can block out this head a bit more. And bring that down. Okay. So the next thing we want to do is we want to leave some room for the uh, fat underneath the uh, tarsal plates, underneath the eyes right here. So that needs to um, come around like that. Okay. We can smooth that out. Okay. So right here, we can take our form soft and really kind of like level that off and have it come down into the cheek right here. And so we got that nice little ridge going on, right? Okay, um, next thing we need to do is right here, there's this little bone of the orbital socket that right there, Need to emphasize that. Okay. Um, we can round this off a bit. So just taking my, um, what should we call it? Uh, taking my form soft brush and just rounding that out, and then bringing these two together a bit more. Okay, and this could kind of be parallel with the front of the nose, I think. Okay. And um, a little bit lower, a little bit wider. And this is maybe a bit too high. Bring that back. So it's just not flat, it's um, it's at an angle. And just getting a little bit wider. See how wide it is in between there? Ding, 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 ding. Already went a little silent there. My bad. I was thinking about lecturing. <laughs> Alrighty, so um, put that in, put that in, and oops, grab that a little bit wider. I'm just trying to get a little bit more distance in between um, in between that, but I might be making it a bit too wide in the process. So. Go back, right? Bring that in. Okay. And there we go. Okay, so um so eyes are looking a bit better. Probably emphasize that. Yeah. Emphasize this a bit more. Yeah. 
All right, everybody. So you were tasked with um, drawing and or, or any way you could do it. Any way you could do it. Draw stick figures, anything like that, but put together six thumbnails of some sort um, of the idea that you want to create with uh, the store collectible that we're going to be sculpting in class. So I went through uh, Infinity War, at least uh, the parts that <clears throat> I really enjoy, the parts that kind of inspired me to do this. And um, let's see if I can get this open real quick. Open it up somewhere else. Oh, let's go here. Let me just grab all these. Okay, so um got his face yelling, right? What it looks like. We got this is like the overall like kind of like feel that I'm going for, right? This little victorious. Okay, cool. Oops, sorry, sorry, I'm still recording. Totally forgot. Hey, I just had to post that up in the um all right, check, 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 blah, 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 blah. All right. So uh next thing we want to do is fix I think it, this might be a bit too far in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this uh this neck fat here and move it back. And then move this a bit forward. Ready, and move this upwards. Okay, and we need a little bit more room for this uh, cheek fat right here. So bring that down using my damp standard, and moving that down right here. And then bringing this down right there. Okay. And a little bit more there. And again, let's uh, get these lips. You had you had them indicated. You just need to finesse it a bit more. Bring that down. Something like that. Okay. Uh, your eyebrows are looking okay. I'm just going to smooth them out and just work on the form, though. So, again, um, we need to make sure the brow is there before we put anything else on top of it. Okay. okay. Need to... Put the skeletal structure of the eye in here. We have a guideline of what's going to be happening, and then we can put fat on top of it. Okay. Alrighty. And then we have the uh, glabella right here. And right there. Little trapezoid right here. Right there. And then on each side of it is a little cashew. Or especially for a, a male, it's more prominent. Okay. And then we also have a problem with the brow going in, right? And actually it comes out and then flares out a bit more right there. We're just going to fix this wobble going on. Okay. Alrighty, so just make sure that your brow, whenever we get back in class, take a look at that skull and really pay attention to the brow. Put your hands on the brow and really feel it so that you remember. Okay. 
And there we go. So that's what I would start with in terms of um, correcting this one or the things that you need to pay attention to to make sure that uh, that you, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm getting lost in sculpting. Uh, but these are the areas that I would pay attention to to focus on and improve so that uh, we can move on to the next step, right? But in terms of like overall form and uh, the character, I liked it when I saw it. Okay, so let's take a look at um, what we have and what we have. Okay, so you can see what's going on with that, right? A little bit more finesse, not so bulgy. The eye is defined a bit more. We have the skeletal structural skeletal structure in place. We have the uh, temporal line, a little bit more believable. The temporalis muscle, a little bit more believable. Uh, the zygomatic um, is clearly defined, all that good stuff, right? Um, so yeah, just um, zygomatic. Uh, you remember the top part ends at the bottom of, or the inferior margin of the um, of the orbit, right? And then this one brings the bottom of the nasal aperture right here, okay? So you are on your way, brother. You're on your way. Okay, so let's see who is next. Let's see. <laughs> let's see. Kenneth. Kenneth, 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 Kenneth. Doom, 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 doom. All righty. So let's take a look. All righty. So right off the bat, um, you got a lot done. You got a lot of it in there. Um, I'll just take a moment to take a look at it. Okay. So the only thing that bothers me is how far in these ears are. And how wide the zygomatic is. It's like the zygomatic comes all the way out like that. So what I would do first is grab these ears with a big old move brush, move move them out. Right? You can see how on top of everything his um his ears are. Right. And let's get rid of this fiber mesh real quick. I think I still have fiber mesh on. Do I know? Where is this? Hmm. Oh, there it is. Okay. So, um, and let's see. Yeah, you definitely captured the feeling of the character. Uh, what I would do is just, again, make sure that nose isn't so flat. Um, and then, again, right here, I'll show you on yours. Uh, the superior uh, edge of the zygomatic coming into the temple and coming around. Okay. And then temporalis muscle is going to attach to that temporal line that we set. And right here, you can see how it's coming out and then in. Should be coming in, out, and around. Okay, so this would be going like that, coming out that way. Okay. And next thing again, um, it's just uh, you'll just need to leave room for the eye. Okay. Uh, this um, medial canthal tendon right here, where your tear duct is. Uh, let me get rid of this. not so uh, concave um, medial canthal tendon everything is attaching to this on your eye the obiculus oculi right here all attaches right here right so I'm going to dig that in all right you see how far out that is like um, it's huge deviation from the from the bell curve, 
it's like uh, five or six deviations away in terms of a natural uh, eye fat. Okay, so now I'm going to use the uh, damn standard. I'll get my eyelid. Eyelid top eyelid goes over the bottom one. Bottom one comes from within the top one, and then you've got this. Um, I'm gonna try to flatten this out because it's a little bit. Uh, too deep. Already, I hope that takes care of it. Okay, so um, do that, and then we've got this um, got this wrinkle right here coming around, right, and then it flows out this way, comes out that way. And then um, this right here. Okay. Right there. Right. And this is just quick and dirty eye. There's obviously I would spend at least two, three hours on an eye for production throughout the course of uh, sculpting on it. So, okay. And then we just need to make sure that this uh, tarsal plate right here the uh, needs to be um, needs to be equal distance around the eye. And a little bit more skeletal structure in here. That was a little bit too far there. Too far forward. And then right there, and around. Okay. And the next thing uh, is that this little notch here is a little bit too far back. Right. Needs to be something like that. Boom, boom. Okay. And then we can uh, fill in this area with uh, eye fat. Right. But I really want to focus on getting this temple set. And that's good. Eyes might not. It might be a little bit too. Are back in the head, actually, and there we go, and then we can, uh, oops, come on, and then we can fix the angle of this eyelid. And we have the uh, little tear duct right here, so that's going to hit right there and then come up dig that in oops dig that in down there smooth it out okay yeah so it's a bit better again we'll spend a lot of time on that and we'll be going deep, deep, deep into the eyes for lectures. Uh, whenever we get there, I think it's towards the end of the, um, I think it's in the fourth or fifth week. All right, and bring this down right there. Okay. And then now we can fix this um, and make sure that's not breaking any rules. And we're going to have a bunch up, bunching up right here of all the skin. There. And yeah, that's what I would do for this one. Move his ears out, really focus on the eyes. Uh, they were just 
Um, they just need a little bit more finesse. You just need to know a little bit more of what's going on here. Just uh, this um, this tear duct right here. Let me spend a bit more time on it. And, and then bring that out, okay, and still the top one goes over the bottom one, right? And then we can use our um, form soft and get that out, the little, um, little gland right here. And it's a little bit better, okay? Um, your eyes might be rotated a bit too far in. A little bit more. There we go. Okay. Um, angle of this mouth needs to go down a bit more, and then you need to have that little boop, that little thing right there. Okay. But uh, your texture work is good. Um, most of the forms are pretty good. Uh, this one needs to come out this way. Um, just go over once more. And let's give him a little bit more on the back of his head. And make sure we're sticking to the, uh, to the guidelines that we've set where the uh, front of the skull is going to be a little bit smaller. And then the back third is going to be the widest. Right? So there we go. And then we can get these eyes. Uh, let's see how big they are. Yeah, they're a little bit too big. We can squeeze them down. And go. Okay, so that's what I would do. Not a lot to fix on here. Just eyes, 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 eyes. I'll, I'll make sure, obviously, everybody's uh, suffering in that area. So I'll make sure to um, to really hit that home for the class. Okay. So. Alrighty. Okay, so let's see who's next. Camilla! Camilla! All right, let's see. All righty. So um, let's take a look. Okay, okay, okay. All righty. So um, my first thing I would say is work on your forms way longer. Um, so that whenever you put all this detail on here, it doesn't, um, it, it has something to back it up, right? Um, and here you can see uh, how your zygomatic and your temple were going in opposite directions, yeah? So here, go right there, we'll fix this a bit, add some mass right here. So we have that little temple bone right here. The brow, increase the brow, make sure you have uh, enough space for the glabella right here, the little cashews for the superciliary arches, and then bring that down right there. And let's just uh, rework this eye a bit, okay? So we know that the upper one goes over the bottom one, both sides. Okay. And the bottom one comes from within the top one. All right, we got a little tear duct here. We're just gonna approximate it for right now. Uh, and let's give it a little bit more forward, okay? Uh, next thing we're gonna do is dig in right here. And we're gonna make sure that, uh, and also your ears a little bit too far forward. Move that back and I'm just gonna worry about uh, this in the eyes for right now. Oops. Ready? That's all we're gonna focus on. 
Um, alrighty, so here with the skull again, uh, we need to move this forward a bit. Okay, your uh, cheek is coming out a bit too far, the front of your cheek right here. Remember, we got like two pairs of sunglasses right here in terms of bone structure, right there. All right, so we need to make sure our forms are based on that. Okay, so you can follow a little your temporal uh, temporal line right here, right, right, right at the edge of where your eye makes that turn, right, and you can follow that down if you want right here, and that's should be the edge of your zygomatic or the uh, malar eminence. Uh, it's a little bit too puffy here. Knock that back. Okay. And we know that the widest part of the zygomatic is going to be here in the front third, and then it's going to go back into the ear. Okay. And then we're going to make sure that um, this is far enough forward. There. Okay. And let's see. Right there. There we go. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is give a bit more space between the lips and the nose here. So I'm going to move it down, then I'm going to use my damn standard to kind of give it a, a ridge. You have like a, um, like a circular type shape, and this is very uh, spade-like. Right, so we need to do that. Something like that. Okay, and a little bit more space. And again, um, is this Dynamesh? Okay, I'm going to re -dynamesh it. Um, and again, just putting that little devilish little tip on his lips and then bringing it down over here. Okay, and your, your mouth is kind of flat. So just remember that it's kind of like a barrel right here. And there's a lot of fat on this one. But just make sure it's not straight across, okay? Because we're looking at the skull and the maxilla and how the, um, you know, the, um, the cage for your teeth. Um, and we saw how, um, how much that rolls, right? So just pay attention to that. Okay. And let's see right there. Okay, so then uh, we should have a nice little ridge to play with right here. We've got our temporalis right here. I'm going to overemphasize that for you. Got our temporalis all going inside that zygomatic, right? And then we've got this ridge of the zygomatic where all this fat and skin is. Right. And what we need to do, oops, is bring that down right there. Okay. And then we can, oops, finesse this a bit more. There we go. Okay. So next thing I'm just going to, Fix some overall proportions. I don't think he's that wide. I like I like this uh, neck fat back there. It looks good. Um, just gonna bring this in because we still got to have somewhat of a neck that all this fat is based off of. That's pretty much where. We're, we're hanging all that fat off of. Okay. 
and then just to make sure we have a little bit of a forehead it's going to be more angular for a man than it will be for for a female right back third little hint of a skull going on let's fix that a bit because we don't want the zygomatic doing anything like that we want going straight across at least for the approximation okay and then bring that in okay do, do, do. Okay, so um, roughly that's where I would start. And whenever we can start getting a little bit of these things handled, uh, we will move on and move on and move on and um, and work on other areas and focus on other areas and give you deeper critiques on that. But these are the major points, right? So I just want you to really hit home the zygomatic and the temporal arch and then the, the temporalis muscle, okay? I really want you to understand that, right? Temple bone right here. Okay, and then a um, little bit too much. And these eyes are pretty sloppy, but you've seen me sculpt eyes on the other ones. So if you need to, just watch those because you have the uh, same issues as they do. Okay, like that. Okay, and let's get rid of all this bumpiness. Going on, see all that squiggle going on. Okay. So let's see, this is what we have. And that's what we had. Okay. You can see a little bit of the finesse of the shapes and all that. So um, just focus on that, focus on your zygomatic and your temporal uh, line and temporal arch and um, start there and really hit it home all day, all day, every day, okay? Let's see who's next. Salinas. Salinas is in the house. All righty. So let's take a look. Um, same issues with the eye. Right, you have, um, I think you have a, one eye in here? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, these are, these are way too big to be in a head. Okay, so let's delete those. Oops, <laughs> duplicated them because they were so good. All right, delete. And delete. Okay, so we need better sized eyes. So I'm going to append the sphere. Um, I'm going to go to it. I'm going to make it as big as it needs to be. Somewhere that's even too big. And smaller than that. Somewhere around there. So we need to that. Okay. And then we can go here. And uh, again, um, the top lid, top tarsal plate goes over the bottom tarsal plate. They meet right here. All right. We have, uh, we need to put some skeletal structure in here. So we need. The, um, the orbit of the eye. This is a little bit um, too far back. So we need to move that forward. Okay. Uh, check it up from top. Should have like a 20 degree angle on that. Okay. And then I'm going to go this eye and mirror and weld it. Okay. 
right? Uh, the next thing is the uh, the angle of your um, of your eye is a little bit too pronounced, so I'm just gonna put it like that. Uh, your eyes are also too wide open, right? And we're gonna put that up there, put that right there, put that right there. Go and a little space down here, and uh, this is a bit too much right here. So just smooth that out. Okay, and I'm gonna move this eyelid out a bit more. Okay. And move this down a little bit wider, put a little peak right there. And it might be a little bit too far back, too. And then we need to, there's going to be a bunching up of skin and fat right here. Move that back. Uh, the next thing we need, well, you do have, uh, you roughly have the shape of it. We just need to make sure that the zygomatic is in the right shape, right? So, the widest part, right around there, and then it just comes forward. Okay. Uh, the next thing is a little bit too blocky on the back end. Okay. The highest part, back third. Okay. We need to um, give a little bit of space for the uh, the forehead. All right. And let's hit on this uh, zygomatic. All right. So boom, temporal line, right around there. All right. And. Get that fan of muscle right here. Okay, and not so far in the middle, somewhere around there. Smooth that out. Okay, and we can probably fix the angle right there. A little bit more up here on top. A little bit wider. Ready? And we can raise that up a little bit and we need a little bit of space here for the glabella but then we got those cashews right after that all right and then you got that little furrowing of the brow right there And yeah, that's what I would focus on for yours. Um, yeah, all this neck fat and stuff. We, I mean, you, you'll get it whenever we um, whenever we go further along into the course. We're going to be talking about how uh, facial fat and all that stuff. And then you'll be able to uh, interpret this a whole lot better. A little bit more on the chin. Right. A little bit more on the jowls right here. We can kind of give a little hint of that. Into the gels right there. And this, and this right here is going to come up and then down. Like that. Okay. 
and then um, again, just mark that there. And dig this in a bit more. There we go. That's what he looks like he's doing. <laughs> so we get there we go. A little bit better. Okay, so again we need to make sure that this is just as low as this little point that we're putting right there. Mm -hmm. And a little bit deeper on this. Um, right there. Okay. So that's what I would do with yours. Okay, um, what we have, uh, what we have, okay, a little bit more finesse on the eyes, right, a little bit more finesse on the uh, shape of the head and the temporal arch and the temporalis, a little bit more space to give the glabella in between the eyebrows and then the superciliary arches, uh, a little bit more finesse on the mouth right here and a little bit more contrast of depth right there okay all right who's next alexandra alexandra hmm i don't know all right so got that where are the eyeballs is that an eyeball Where is that eyeball? Oh, you only have one big eye. Come on, Alex. All right. Right there. Go right there. Put that into place. That's still too big of an eye. Right around there. Something like that. Um, then we're just going to marry and weld it. That's on the other side. Okay, so we've got that. So first thing is that your eyes are way too deep into your head. So what I'm going to do is just go here. And I'm going to kind of build this out. And... Okay. Uh, we need to have a little space for the cobella, and then we can have the superciliary arches. Okay. And then uh, right there, we have that little notch in the skull. You hit it pretty well. And right here, we just need some more eye anatomy. All right. So what I'm going to do is oops, dig in. These eyes actually, yeah, those eyes are probably still too far back in the head. Mm -hmm. Right around there. Okay, and so the other thing uh, that your the angle of your eye is probably about like thirty to thirty-five degrees when it needs to be at like twenty. So from the medial canthal tendon to the lateral canthal tendon, that angle should be about 20 degrees. Something like that. Okay. So even there, we just fixed a lot of the problems. Okay. So right there. Then move that out right around there okay so let's start from the beginning what are we gonna do what are we gonna do the zygomatic that's right the zygomatic fill that in a bit 
Okay, so we are going to go above the ear hole, boom, and then the temporal line, right? And we're going to move that out, obviously. It's a little bit too, too deep, too deep, too deep. Okay. Something around there. So now we can see all the forms that are um, going all over the place, right? So we need to make sure that we smooth it out. All right, the bottom of it. All right, and then the temporal arch. And that right there. Right, so let's see. So there we fixed a good amount of problems just with fixing the angle of the face that you had. And we need to make sure that this is kind of flat all the way in terms of its angle. And that there. There. And we gotta make sure that the widest part is right around there. Alrighty. So we got that going. Alrighty. And um, let's see. Now we can go here. We can dig in these eyes. And hold Alt on the damn standard. Make sure the upper eyelid goes over the bottom eyelid. The bottom eyelid goes underneath. This little tear duct right here needs to come out. Right? Right there. And then bring it right around there. So something like that is how I would start it off. Okay. So we know the bottom line of the zygomatic, right? So we don't want our eyes just floating in the head. We need to bring these. And... Bring this forward a bit more. So, boom, right around there. And this needs to come back a bit more. Okay. And let's see. Right there. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, and then just bringing in that mouth. Um, right there, and right there. And then we just need to indicate a little bit better this uh, this chin, right? So we got the chin, we got the jowls, and we just need to continue this um, uh, this jawline, right? Just 
kind of give a little support to it. And obviously he's not going to have a square jaw or anything like that, but I just wanted to put it in there just so that all the form is resting on top of it. There. And we bring this cheek over like that. All right, so boom. Something that's about as far back as all these wrinkles are going to go. Alrighty. Um, and yeah, so that's what I would do. I would just focus on the eyes. The eyes were the biggest deal uh, for you. And hopefully, hopefully you have a better way to, to start them now. And uh, whenever you can get it this far, then definitely we'll, we'll move further. And again, as I've said throughout this video, we're going to have a lot of... Um, time on the eyes and this could come forward a bit more All right, so that's what I would be doing. So what we have and what we had. Okay. So just keep that in mind. Okay. Uh, Ramirez is last. He turns his shit in last. Always, always, always. Okay, so, um, again, eyes, okay, but first let's just lay everything down. Uh, the ears are a bit too straight out, like that. So what I would do is just lay them back a bit, Oops. something like that. Something like that, okay? Um, all right, so let's get the zygomatic down. And then we, looks like he's looking up a bit. So I'm gonna, um, I'm going to put this in the center. I'm going to rotate that. I'm going to turn this one on. And then it's going to allow me to rotate everything at once. And then turn it back off. It should be looking forward. Okay, so uh, first things first. The little notch that you have right here is going to be right at the corner of your eye. Right? And then come down like that. Okay, but let's get the zygomatic down. Um... But we can probably also move this forward. So, move that up. Alrighty. So, right above the ear hole, right there, right there, and temporal line. Okay. And then we have the fan of muscle that attaches to the temporal line. Temporalis goes inside the zygomatic, right? Doesn't go over it. You can see how we have that splaying out like that. So I'm going to move that in. And then widen it out right there. OK. 
Okay. Um, and then same thing with with the eyes. Like uh, it's just everybody's having the same issue with the eyes. So if you want to see it, we can watch it in the other videos um, or in the other critiques. Again, um, I know he's got a lot of fat. It should be bunching up around here. But we still need to make sure that the widest part is right around there. Okay. God, why are you sculpting at 256? What are you doing? Jeez. This is super high density over here. All right. So there we go. Coming down. There we go. A little bit more heft here. Uh, again, uh, the uh, nose is a bit too flat. You want to have the center coming out. That. So it's more visually pleasing. Um, and again, need to have a little bit of space for the uh, glabella, right, right here. And then you have those cashews on each side. Ready? And uh, yeah, so that's what I would do. Um, and that, this is a bit too thin back here for all this fat that's gonna be there. Um, this could be a little bit further in. And where for males, they're going to have a bit more surface area here for the brow. Okay. That's what I would do for your Shane. Just uh, overall, I mean, the, the eyes need to be reworked. Of course, I've done that six times now. <laughs> so all the issues you're having, you know, they're having. You should uh, watch um, Alex, uh, the one right before yours. <clears throat> watch hers, and it just goes through it. Uh, for you and, and obviously right here make sure that that's working uh, have some indication of a chin right And then there. Alrighty. So, yep. That's what I'll do. That's what I'll do. That's what I'll do. Okay. So, hopefully, this helped you guys. Um, and, um, uh, be having another speed sculpt tomorrow so get ready make sure to uh, pay attention to how you sculpt your eyes make sure to lay down your zygomatic and your temporal uh, arch before doing much of anything else and then set your um, set your sculpt proportions right so thinner towards the front wider in the back third give enough room right we got a we got an egghead shape right with the ear in the center Um, and then the face just hangs off of it. Okay. So that's what we're doing, peeps. That's what we're doing. Um, and again, hope this all helped you out. Um, and I will see you in class tomorrow.